Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan in this very very exciting and challenging video on Algebra. Here we have to evaluate 5 plus x over 5 minus x. If x is 2 minus cube root 12 plus cube root 18 over 2 plus cube root 12 plus cube root 18. So let's get started by writing x must be positive as cube root 18 is always greater than cube root 12. So x will be positive always. Now we know that 2 can be written as cube root 8. So we can write x equal to cube root 8 minus cube root 12 plus cube root 18 over cube root 8 plus cube root 12 plus cube root 18. Now we will multiply our numerator and denominator by cube root 2. Let's multiply. We will get cube root 8 times cube root 2 minus cube root 12 times cube root 2 plus cube root 18 times cube root 2 over cube root 8 times cube root 2 plus cube root 12 times cube root 2 plus cube root 18 times cube root 2. Now we know the radicals property nth root of a times nth root of b we can write any time nth root of ab. So we have to multiply 8 with 2, 12 with 2, 18 with 2. So we will get cube root of 16 minus cube root of 24 plus cube root of 36 in the numerator respectively in the denominator. So I will write x equal to cube root of 8 times 2, 16 minus cube root of 12 times 2, 24 plus 18 times 2, we will get radicant as 36 over cube root of 16 plus cube root of 24 plus cube root of 36. Now we can write 16 as 4 square, 36 we can write 6 square and 24 can be factored as 4 times 6. So I will write x will be, I can write using exponent law cube root 4 whole square as cube root 16 minus cube root 24 I can write cube root 4 times cube root 6 plus cube root 36 I can write cube root 6 whole square over cube root 4 whole square plus cube root 4 times cube root 6 plus cube root 6 whole square. Now you can see if I will consider cube root 6 I am taking a as x positive and cube root 4 I am taking b. So here I can write this is b square this is a times b and this is a square. So in numerator I can write a square plus b square minus ab and in denominator we can write a square plus b square plus ab. Let me write here itself a square plus b square 
minus AB. Overall, expression will be A square plus B square minus AB. In denominator, A square plus B square plus AB. Where A is cube root 6, B is cube root 4. So I can write here x is equal to a square minus ab plus b square over a square plus ab plus b square. Now I will write two identities. I will write two formulas a cube minus b cube and a cube plus b cube. So I can write here a minus b times a square plus ab plus b square. Here I will be writing a plus b times a square minus ab plus b square. Now we have to calculate our numerator and denominator. Now from first formula I can find out this value as let me write a square plus ab plus b square. This will be equal to a cube minus b cube over a minus b. Similarly, from the second formula, this bracket will be equal to. So I will write a square minus ab plus b square. This will be equal to a cube plus b cube over a plus b. Now both the values are ready. Now we have to put here. We will get x equal to a square minus ab plus b square. So we can write a cube plus b cube over a plus b over Denominator a square plus ab plus b square. So we will write a cube minus b cube over a minus b. Let me write here x will be equal to a cube plus b cube over a plus b. And then we can convert division into multiplication by flipping our denominator fraction. So I will write a minus b over a cube minus b cube. Or I can write a cube plus b cube over a cube minus b cube times a minus b over a plus b. Now if you remember, a was cube root 6, b was cube root 4. So I can say a cube will be 6. I can also say b cube will be 4. So from these two equations, I can calculate a cube plus b cube. This will be equal to 6 plus 4 equal to 10 and a cube minus b cube. So I will subtract here 4 from 6, we will get 2. Let's apply, we will get x equal to a cube plus b cube. I will write 10 or a cube minus b cube 2 times a minus b or a plus b. Now we can cancel 10 by denominator 2. We will get 5 here. Now I will write x equal to 5 times a minus b over a plus b. Let's divide both sides by 5. So I will write here 5 in the denominator we will get x over 5 equal to a minus b over a plus b. 
Now instead of using componendo dividendo, I will add and subtract 1 from both the sides in this equation. So let me write here plus 1 first. We will simplify LHS and RHS. I will get x plus 5 over 5 equal to a minus b plus a plus b over a plus b. Now we can cancel minus b and plus b from here. We will get x plus 5 over 5. This will be equal to 2a over a plus b. Let us consider this is our equation number 1. Now I will subtract 1 to both sides of the equation x over 5 equal to a minus b over a plus b. So I will write x over 5 equal to a minus b over a plus b. Let's subtract 1 both sides. We will get x minus 5 over 5 will be equal to a minus b minus a minus b over a plus b. Now we can cancel a with minus a this time. So we will get x minus 5 over 5 equal to negative 2b over a plus b. Let us consider this is equation 2. Let me write equation 1 also. x plus 5 over 5. 2a over a plus b. Now we have to divide second equation from first one or we can divide first equation from second one. So our required expression is 5 plus x. So we will perform 1 divided by 2. Let's divide both sides. So I will write x plus 5 over 5 over x minus 5 over 5 equal to 2a over a plus b divided by minus 2b over a plus b. Or we can write x plus 5 over 5 times 5 over x minus 5 in LHS in RHS 2a over a plus b division will converted into multiplication by flipping our denominator fraction so I will write a plus b over minus 2b now we can cancel a plus b with a plus b 2 and 2. Here we will cancel 5 with 5. So we will get x plus 5 over x minus 5. This will be equal to negative a over b. Now I will divide both sides by negative 1. So let us write here minus 1 and let us write here minus 1. Now we can cancel in RHS this minus 1 with this minus sign and here I will multiply this minus 1 in the bracket of denominator. We can write 5 plus x over 5 minus x which is our required expression equal to a over b. Now a was cube root 6, b was cube root 4. So I can write here cube root 6 over cube root 4. Now I can rationalize our denominator here. So I need to multiply with cube root 2 in the denominator. So in the numerator. So numerator will give us cube root 6 times 2. 12 over this will give us cube root 4 times 2 8 
8 is 2 cube, cube root and cube will be over, we will get 2 in the denominator. So, our final answer will become expression E equal to cube root 12 over 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Goodbye.